I'm going to walk you through what you need to be able to do to complete your assignment today um, to use Science Daily to find articles that might work for Project 1. So I'm going to scroll down to today's class. Hopefully you've read the Project 1 assignment sheet so you know that you're going to need a popular and scholarly source that are on the same topic. So what you're really looking for is a popular source that's based on a scholarly publication written, um, in this case, in the sciences, because we're going to be using a website called Science Daily to find those paired sources. So here's your link to sciencedaily.com. You can go ahead and click on that to take you where you need to go. Science Daily is a website that is a big collection of popular material for people who are interested in science. This is for everyday readers who have some kind of interest in science. It's not for scientists who are experts in their field already. I mean, it might be read by scientists, but it's probably not going to be um, source of, a source of information for their main subject of research. This might just be somebody's interested in the basics on a certain finding. Um, they can find it here written in everyday language that's easy to understand and accessible. However, the nice thing about Science Daily is that most of the articles that show up here are based on scholarly research, um, either materials that maybe came from the public relations department at a university, or in about half the cases, maybe a little bit more, it's actually coming from a published scholarly article. The ones that you're looking for are the articles published here on Science Daily that are popular, that are based on a scholarly published source. So I'm going to show you how to find those. Um, looking at the, the first page, it always has whatever the latest news is. So, you know, today, as I'm recording this, this is today's date. Um, the problem with grabbing one of these kind of interesting sounding headlines off the very front page is that if it is based on a scholarly published article, our library may not have a copy of that yet. It sometimes takes a couple of weeks for them to have the latest journal online. So, because we definitely want to have both the popularly, popular article and the scholarly version of the same study, um, we should probably try to look for something that's a little bit older. So, a good way to do that is to just pick something you're interested in. Let's say plants and animals, and maybe we're going to look at biology as a topic you might be interested in. You're still going to find um, that the first couple articles that pop up here are based on really current information. So if you look at the dates as you scroll down, you know, January 8th, obviously this is really current. Um, so let's go back a few pages. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, it says for more stories, jump to page. And let's just really go back a little bit because they publish a lot of stories every day. Um, here we've got, when I, I hit those arrows, this took me back to some stuff from November. That should be old enough. You know, a month, two months is, is plenty where we should be able to get a hold of the scholarly source if there are some. Um, let's just grab an article that looks interesting. How about marijuana's potential for treating autoimmune disorders? So when you click on that, what you find is your popular source. This is a, an article that was written by probably editors at Science Daily um, to provide information, basics, to people who have an interest in this topic but are not experts in the field. So they're trying to simplify a study that's a lot more complicated for the everyday reader. And you can see it's not very long. It even says it's based on a study. Um, so you get to the bottom of the source, which is really just a few paragraphs long, and it tells you two things. The first thing is story source, and just about every article on Science Daily will have a story source. It tells you it's based on materials provided by the University of South Carolina. What you're looking for is the second thing. Not all the stories on Science Daily have a journal reference, but many of them do. So you're looking for one that has a journal reference and includes this little DOI link. So it's actually got a link within it. That should be able to allow you to access the full text scholarly source. So let's click on it and see what we get. Now I'm currently off campus. If you are on campus and logged into the campus network, you may actually get a full text um, article description like this one. And there may be a link there that says click here for the full text. So in the case of this article, you can come over here and get full text PDF. That's probably ideal because the PDF is going to look the most like the regular um, story as it was printed originally in its journal. Um, so this is um, one way to get the scholarly source. If you're on campus, it might open up at this point and you'll be all set. You've got your scholarly and your popular source. If you are not on campus, I'm going to add a second video that will walk you through how to find that scholarly source using our library. It's just an extra couple of steps.